Hi, I'm Duane. How you doing? This is part four of Ijime Dame Zetai. Actually, this is take two of the video. <laughs> my computer failed on me the first time. So my books may be a little messier than usual. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay. Namida here means tears. Misezu ni. Miseru is the base form of this verb. Miseru means to show. Well, in this case, rather than saying showing tears, we usually say shedding tears, right? Okay. And zuni is a negative ending. Okay? But we have another negative ending form. Nai de, nai de, mise nai de, and mise zuni. They mean the same. Onaji. They mean the same. Onaji. But they're a little different. Chigau. Onaji. Chigau. Onaji. Chigau. Do, de, de, mo onaji da yo min na son na yu kere do de mo nang ka cho to chigau yo ne nang ka cho to chigau ka na. That's the beginning part of Baby Metal's new song. Yes new song which has never been released any place in the world, not even in Japan. But I know it. <laughs> Anyways, misezuni uh, and misenai mean the same, but misenai de is a rather colloquial exp expression. Uh, on, the other, on the other hand, zuni is, is rather Literal, literal uh, expression. Okay, so without shedding tears. Okay, without showing tears. Okay. Naki dashi so na yoru wa. Naki means uh, comes from naku. Naku is a verb to cry. Dashi coming from dasu. Uh, dasu. Okay. Dasu means to push something out of some place, or you kick something out. Okay, but if you add dasu to another verb, it makes uh, the verb meaning something like you start to do something, you begin to do something. Okay? So naki dasu means you start to Naku, which is cry. You start to cry. And so, so means uh, you are about to do something, or you are on the verge of doing something. Na is a little particle which makes the whole phrase into a adjective phrase adjective phrase which modifies the the following noun which is yoru uh, uh, night okay night a night when uh, I am just about to start to cry okay I am on the verge of st starting to cry. Okay. In such on such a night. Okay. Okay. So when when the night comes when I am just about to start to cry without Shedding tears. Okay. On such a night, kokoro, kokoro means heart. Heart. Okay. 
Kokoro no genitive marker. And if, when you put a genitive marker to a noun, it makes the whole sentence into an adjective. Okay. So, Kokoro no oku means inner section of something, or deep inside of something. Okay. Another genitive marker. Heya is a room. Ni, location marker. Okay. So, inside a room which is deep inside of my heart. Okay. Deep inside of my heart, uh, there's a room. Okay. And I'm there, hitori, all alone, all by myself. Okay. So what it means here is, I am so desperate, I'm so lonely, I hide myself. I confine myself into this uh, little room which is deep inside uh, inside of my heart okay and uh, I I just have to cry without shedding tears on such a night okay so so here in this part uh, this this woman or a man okay, is so desperate so lonely and he or she is confining himself herself inside her or his own heart mm, yeah. very lonesome situation yeah. and then Kizutsuketa no wa hoka no dareka dake janaku. Okay. Kizutsuketa or kizutsukeru as a base form means hurt. Hurt someone. Okay. Ta is a past tense. Okay. No is one or someone. Okay. Wa subject marker. Okay, so uh, the one who hurt me, okay. that's one interpretation, or it could be meant as uh, the one I hurt. Okay. It's ambiguous. Yeah. This is a mystery of Japanese grammar. Since we don't show the subjects, uh, we don't know who is hurting whom. Kizutsuketa okay. simply means hurt. No means one. Hurt, one. Okay. Could be interpreted as no, someone hurt you or you hurt someone. Okay. So we don't know. Okay. And I will discuss this to 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 interpretation issue later. Okay. Hoka means other. Hoka no makes this into adjective. Okay. Other or else. Okay. Dareka means someone. So someone else or other someone. Okay. Other ones. Okay. Dake means only. Janaku. Janaku is coming from dewanaku. This is a regular way, regular form yeah, of negation. And this this word uh, makes the whole sentence negative. Okay. Dewanaku becomes janaku. In colloquial speeches, okay, janai, and janai is the regular, I mean, base form, janai, janai, okay? but as you change e into ku, you can make it a linking form, linking form. Okay? It links this section to the subsequent section subsequent clause in a sentence okay so connective linking form janaku which means um, it 
it was not uh, only someone else, was some other people. But kizu kanai, kizu ku is the base form. That means that means notice or recognize. Anai negative. So you don't notice anything. You don't recognize anything. You don't see anything. Furi, furi, furi means pretending. Uh, okay, pretending, uh, disguising. Suru, furi, usually say we usually say furi o suru. Suru means do, do something, and shite ta is coming from shite ita. Shite ita is a regular form, but in speeches we often omit this i vowel. Okay. Shite ita becomes shite ta. Okay. And shite ta is a past tense of shite ita or shite ru, okay. which means a present progressive form. Okay. Doing. Somebody is doing something. If you put that into past tense, past progressive form, shite ita or shite ta. Okay. Somebody was doing something. Okay. Who was doing something? Nakama. Nakama means your friends, your 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 company, your your fellow fellow students. Okay. Uh, so what this means is uh, your friends who are pretending not to notice anything, not to see anything. So these friends or company are, you know, they're sly people. <laughs> they pre pretend not to see anything. I I didn't notice somebody was being bullied. I didn't recognize it. I didn't even feel anybody was being bullied. I'm, I'm, I, I, you know, these people stay aloof. They pretend not to be involved in any, you know, issues. Okay. There are always such people. So, again, I go back to these uh, second, I mean, two interpretations. Uh, one, uh, uh, the, the ones that I heard were not only somebody else, but also these friends, of, uh, these friends of mine who were pretending not to notice any bullying. Okay. That's one interpretation. Uh, so I may have hurt these two people without noticing it. Uh, second inter interpretation is the ones who hurt me were not only someone else, some other other people, but my friends uh, who were pretending not to notice anything. Okay. So that's second interpretation. What do you think? I personally like to take the second interpretation. Uh, you know, those people around me were the bulliers that they bullied me and they hurt me so bad. But not only them, but also my friends who are pretending not to see anything. They hurt me also. 
So I got hurt by these two types of people. Okay. And that's, I think that's reasonable. Uh, what do you think? All right. So I am so badly hurt. And then goes, Nani mo nothing. Iesu ni say nothing. Akira me kaketa. Okay. So nani mo means nothing. Iesu ni. I, I, u, okay. I, u is a verb in Japanese which means say, eh, to say. Eh. I, u. And I, e, ru. I, e, ru means being able to say something. Okay. Able, able to say. Okay. And I, e, zu, ni. Well, both means negation, not being able to say anything. So here you will find parallel parallel structure, zuni and naide, uh, which I explained a moment ago. Okay, here. Mise zu ni mise nai de. The same thing. Ie zu ni. Say nothing. Okay. So without being able to uh, to say nothing, okay? to say anything, hmm? I akira me re kaketa. Okay. Akirame ru means to give up. You abandon something. Okay. And kaketa is a past form of kakeru. Kakeru. Ka okay. If you if you add kakeru at the end of another verb, uh, which means you are on the verge of doing something or you 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 begin to do something you are inclined to do something okay so uh, you 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 begin to give up uh, you are just about to give up uh, give up something uh, what do you give up well in such a situation Probably this person may give up on his or her life. Yeah, and he may abandon uh, staying alive. And he or she may commit suicide. And that's akirameru, your life. And the little two girls say, "Poi stekin shi." Yeah. Okay. Poi is an onomatopoeia, which describes the way you throw something away. Okay. Throw away, throw away, throw away. Poi, 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 poi. Sute it comes from a verb, suteru. Okay. Suteru verb, to throw something away. You dispose of something. You discard something. Okay. Usually, poi ste as a noun means the way you throw some trivial, uh, trifle, uh, unimportant thing, such as a cigarette butt, uh, away uh, into a trash can, uh, or on the street, boom. Uh, so poiste means throwing away something unimportant. Kinshi means a ban, prohibition. Okay. No way, don't do it. Okay. So poiste is banned, okay. which means don't throw it away so easily. Okay. In this case, don't throw your life away. Okay. Stay alive, stay strong. Okay. And then the rest part is the same as before. Okay. Kino yesterday. Made no jibun sayonara, bye bye. 
I'm going to say goodbye to myself, which was weak until yesterday. So I'm going to say goodbye to my my wimpy self. Okay. All right. So without being able to say anything, you are you are almost to give up on your life. But you know, uh, don't do that. Change your mind and. And stand up on your feet and lead a second life uh, is what they're sending message about. Okay. All right. Thank you. And see you next time.